Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Chris here and live reaction time. Uh, just make sure that I am in focus properly. Um, yes, it is a Indie Direct, the first one of this year. Um, indie Directs I do find hit and miss, unless they have amazing announcements, other times a bit okay. Um, so we've had to see a lot of things I haven't really heard about. Um, one they do find with Nintendo's Indie Directs, they do tend to just focus on games once. So once it's been on Indie Direct, we won't see it again. Um, there's a bit of a shame because I think there's a few games announced last year I'd love to see updates on. Um, there's Bomb, uh, Bomb Funk Cyberpunk, I think, is one that I really want to see. Like uh, the Jet Set Radio style game. I'd love to see an update on that if possible. I know uh, a lot of people want to see Silk Song, and there's the likes of. Um, sports story and stuff like that, which we just see if we do get any updates on those. Um, and then what else we get? Like, like I said, I am expecting some weird, and wonderful bits. Um, because you do get that with Nintendo Indie World, so you do get games that are a bit niche or kind of unexpected. But yeah, we are very rapidly approaching the start. I'm watching the UK Direct, so. I just like the countdown they got going, it looks really cool, really smart. And yeah, here we go in a couple of seconds. Peggy 16. Okay, so 16 age rating in the UK. The usual COVID stuff, especially for indie studios. It's really hard. Cool new uh, intro, it's really cool, Indie World. Welcome to Indie World. I'm Thank Arico. You. And I'm Amber. We're back today to showcase a slew of indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, so a slew of indie games. Our indie partners span the globe, from Sweden to Australia and Japan. And we can't uh, wait to see what they've been cooking up. So let's get started. Let's see what they show us. Very cutesy. I'm crossing light, I'm guessing. The music even sounds like Animal Crossing. This very much sounds like Animal Crossing. <laughs> Ooblets. Fair enough. Oh, don't you just love games that are cozy and weird? Oh, I absolutely do. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has everything to give you the warm fuzzies. Okay, so more farming. Grow and train adorable um, little creatures called Ooblets as you cultivate you know, new farming, life in the aim. blossoming community of Badge Town. Customize your character, befriend oh. the locals, decorate your house, run your own shop, and most importantly, some cool have bits. epic dance battles. You can even dress up your ooblet pals and travel to different locations. Visit the arcade packed boardwalk and port forward, saunter okay. through the spooky swamps of nowhere, and ascend the frozen peaks of Tippy Top. Ooblets waddles its okay, way some of those have a new state. switch this summer. Um, very cutesy. Bit more depth than I thought. Colorful and mesmerizing planets this awaits good. in this fast-paced action RPG across the cosmos. In this deeply story-driven game by Stormmind Games, you'll That's use cool. both strength and wits to interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Okay, I don't know how the long this process is due to be, but and mental powers is about key. 20 minutes so. sacrifice one for the other against opponents and things might not turn out well for you ultimately your conscience will carry the weight of your decisions what kind of hero will you become choose your destiny in batora lost haven launching on oh, the Nintendo Switch again. That's cool. this autumn Japanese. Oh, 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 Japanese. Oh,
エリケイトは私が学生時代の頃「流れる」というテーマのコンテスト向けに好きなゲームからインスピレーションを受けて開発したプロトタイプ作品になります、okay. 私が学生を卒業した後にそれをブラッシュアップしたのが本作になりますシンプルな操作と直感的なルールからは想像もできないようなひらめく体験をご用意しておりますのでぜひ任天堂スイッチで楽しんでみてください Interesting concept. Like a puzzle platform, but like, so it's、hey, kind of interesting. If you're looking for a clever and challenging 2D puzzle platformer, Then we've got、yeah. just the game for you from Nama Takahashi, a one person、cool. development team. Here,、oh, wow. you're a small robot named Alec who's on a mission to restore light to the world while navigating a booby trapped facility. By using your electrifying powers to touch walls, floors, platforms, and switches, electricity will charge through them and bring them to life. Hey, don't get ahead、cool. of yourself. Well, I mean, actually, you should. Detach and throw your head to trigger <laughs> objects. You'll need to retrieve it within 10 seconds or else. There、oh, wow. are plenty of hidden rooms and secrets to discover. So use your head, literally, to explore every nook and cranny of the facility. A l e c head bolts on to Nintendo Switch this summer. That's a cool concept, actually. You gotta look at that one. That s a cool kind of animation studio, animation style. The rhythm game? The animation style looks cool. Yeah, fight the beat. Music sounds pretty cool, actually, to be fair. I just don't mind the look at this one. Like Cadence of High w a l l go to Knuckle Dancer style. Soundfall, that's cool. Feel the beat in Soundfall. This fast paced, rhythm based dungeon crawler from Noodle Cake and Drastic Games combines looter shooter action with musical gameplay that'll keep you on your toes and tapping your toes. Cool. As a guardian of harmony, you're transported to the world of Symphonia to battle the forces of Discord. Move to the music、out. solo or with up to four players locally or online as you restore harmony to Symphonia's corrupted lands. Levels and encounters are dynamically generated from the music, and there are over 140 songs to choose from. So pick、That's、the、awesome. tune you want to hear before jumping into the fray. Time your actions to the music and your power. That's cool. We can't change it based on the song you're playing. Different、That's、musical、awesome. heroes to choose from, over 500 pieces of equipment for skill customization, and thousands of loot combinations, giving you opportunities for multiple playthroughs. Get your head bopping to Soundfall, launching、oh, wow. on Nintendo Switch shortly after this presentation. Might check into that one. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Why is it freezing in here? You better be ready to weather the snowstorm in Wild Frost. Take on、oh, the、God. harsh elements in、There's、this very much a <coughs> as needs to be so far. There's、Build、a card. And customize your card deck as deck you、game. set off to put an end to the eternal frost. Card companions and items are at your disposal. Use him to battle wave after wave of monsters, from the deceptively cute penguins to brash and brutal bosses. Plan your next move using the dynamic counter system and fell those frosty fiends. After each run, try daily challenges or 
Expand the hub town of Snowdwell to unlock new events and cards. This is quite nice, Helpful but not my type of game, unfortunately. Perpetual winter. Wild Frost makes its snowy debut on Nintendo Switch. You guessed it. This winter. Hey, I have to Hanna. And I heiße Rebecca. We're from Lampful Games, a small game studio based in Stockholm, Sweden. And Ooh. we are excited to announce that our game Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TAPS for short, will be coming to Nintendo Switch. We first started working on TAPS in 2016. The idea okay. was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you got when playing with your action figures as a kid. We then added the strategy and fighting elements and turned the game into the wobbly experience that it is today. Our wonderful community has been with crazy. us along the way and helped us shape the game with their suggestions and feedback. So together with them, we're proud to bring TAPS to this awesome platform. Like zombie armies. Doesn't really look like one for me, but it's very like a tactical pretty trust you going. It's a bit crazy, but yeah, not one for me, I don't think, unfortunately, but... Like I say, it's not... I think about Indies, there's so much diversity in different games. Wait, what? You heard that right. In this fighting game from Landfall Games, you'll lead teams of over 100 wobblers in battle, hailing from ancient lands, spooky worlds, and fantasy realms. Those wobbly physics are, uh... Very, uh, wobbly. Oh, they're <laughs> awesome. And those aren't your garden variety battles either. Watch your wobblers flail and fail in silly simulated battles. <laughs> or make new ones in the unit creator and customize their size, weight, and speed, among other stats. <laughs> Can't get enough crazy. of the wobble? Send them to fight your friends in online multiplayer mayhem. Say it with me. It's wobbling time. You never cease to amaze me. Totally accurate battle simulator. Wobbles. It's way on to Nintendo Switch this summer. I think that really landed very well, but I'm not familiar with the game or the stuff around it, so. Okay. Noir Punk Action Adventure. Okay. Maybe that's a very near rogue like game. Umbrella. Umbrella. Okay. You're a gruff woodsman on a quest for revenge in this noir punk action adventure from Doinksoft. Armed with the titular Gumbrella, you'll maneuver through various locations, from a cultish town to a junkyard fortress. Use the Gumbrella to glide, swing, very much dash, uh, interesting type of game, but again, take out enemies. <coughs> no digital armor when you got into the game, so. Combat. Along Could be the fun, way, but not much of it for Vania. I haven't played Dominic the Dread yet, to be fair. And employ your sleuthing skills to assist a cast of increasingly bizarre characters in a world rapidly losing its natural resources. And that's just the beginning of your investigation. Plenty of uh. dark twists and turns lie ahead. Gumbrella. Launches okay, on so Nintendo next year, Switch so that's, uh, next year. Very much an advanced announcement. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Huntley, lead programmer on We Are OFK. And I'm Luca LeFay, lead singer of the band OFK. We're super excited to announce that our music biopic game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes! Ooh, I can play it on a tour bus. Ugh, uh -huh. I can't wait to tour together. We haven't seen each other since that music video brainstorm at your place in LA in 2019. Yeah, not entirely sure yeah, what this is wow, about, wow. but we just see. And with the game on handheld, 
It'll be easy to play the new episodes that are coming out every single week, back to back to back. Can't wait to share OFK's story and music with y'all. Okay, hey, Jared, so it's can I get your like a band from that outfits? game, potentially. This just all looks interesting. So, okay, it's a band that you play as. Okay, something different in the reflection, so like uh, two sides of coin kind of thing, like reality and like dream world or kind of This musical narrative from indie pop band OFK is going to take you on quite the emotional ride. Yeah, I'm Set not in sure downtown Los you Angeles, go. Itsumi Saito struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. Okay. But a chance encounter with a rising Hollywood music producer may give her the edge she needs to achieve her dreams. Through episodes released weekly and interactive music videos with a fully voiced cast, you'll witness the lives of Itsumi and her friends unfold. You're allowed to take a break and not be okay be for a second. That'd be interesting to see how that Thank plays you. out. From fighting over song lyrics at band practice to sending silly memes via text, it's a heartfelt making of the band journey that's sure to pull at your heartstrings. We are OFK. Drums onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Yeah, it doesn't really give much away as a game player or kind of. I'm Dom. And I'm Tom. And we're Spiral Circus. We are an indie games developer based in Bristol, UK. And our passion for the stranger and surreal side of art is what brought us together. We both come from really different backgrounds. I was a research scientist and Tom is a fine artist. Because of the pandemic, we've been an entirely remote team and almost all of Silt has been hand-drawn at night by me, which seems entirely appropriate for the subject matter. Our audio oh, wow. designer even set up a fish tank in his studio to record the underwater sounds that you'll be hearing throughout the game. We're really excited for you to experience our hand-drawn work brought to life, and we hope you enjoy exploring the strange oceanic world of Silt out. on Nintendo Switch. Take a deep breath and dive into the harrowing ocean abyss. That looks nice. In the depths of this puzzle adventure from Spiral Circus Games, you'll unravel long forgotten mysteries as you explore a surreal underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient ruins, and dangerous ocean inhabitants. A variety of secrets Great visual can style. be possessed. Harness their abilities to solve puzzles navigate the haunting environment and survive encounters against deep sea goliaths there's more than meets the eye in this unsettling monochrome world plunge into the dark waters That's interesting, of silt, right? Doesn't... launching on nintendo yeah, not switch much I next Doesn't get month as exploration how combat works or anything. hey a way to avoid traffic morning Mini commutes motorways. can be a real jam if you get my drift Oh, I know, right? But guess what? In many motorways from developer Dinosaur Polo Club, the key to solving the city's congestion problems is you. Draw and build roads to create a bustling metropolis and keep traffic flowing on maps inspired by real life cities. As demands cool. interchange, you'll continuously redesign and expand via upgrades like highways and roundabouts. Ramp up the difficulty by taking part in daily and weekly challenges. More maps will unlock as you become a master road designer. New cities and stuff like How that. long can you keep the cities of the world moving? Buckle up for mini motorways. Another shadow to drop. Nintendo Switch shortly after this There's presentation. There's like a quick kind of time sink, so not too serious or too. Whoa, a flying hospital. That's new. I've never seen that before. Then hop aboard this heartfelt narrative adventure from Ghost Pattern, nice set in 1970s rural Australia. 
as intrepid teen journalist Casey, you'll come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced okay, characters so through the stories time. they tell and the moments you share. Each story unfolds in real time at the same time, so you get to choose which ones you want to experience. Follow the Let's hospital's go. inhabitants, eavesdrop on them, or enter the room and be part of the conversation. Darcy, right? Mrs. B's kid? It's um. Glad well, you got a uh, voice actor, which is pretty cool. Huh. Um, Casey. Just Casey. Sure. By keeping track of information in your notebook and spending time with certain characters, you might unearth new That's stories, okay. locations, and revelations. Multiple playthroughs will also give you the opportunity to witness other events, allowing you to delve deeper into the stories and weave together mysteries aboard the airship. It's very interesting. Very Wayward interesting. Strand. Okay, that's Plans glad you got a date. Nintendo July. Switch, July 21st. A randomly generated world awaits in this action adventure game from Massive Monster. As a possessed oh. lamb saved by a foreboding stranger from a ritual sacrifice, you need to repay your debt by creating a loyal community of woodland worshippers. Gather resources to build structures. And build a cult. Then <laughs> gather your courage to brave deadly oh, dungeons like edition. the Silk Cradle. Venture through its dark um, depths, teeming with razor spiders cooler. and toxic millipedes, to challenge the dungeon's overlord Shimura. There ain't anything sheepish about it. <laughs> Cult of the Lamb trots onto Nintendo Switch. This yeah, that's a bit too out there for me, I think, but it looks cool. What have we got here? Underwater. A 3D platformer. Sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like. Uh -huh. Cool looking bosses. Looks interesting. Another crab's treasure. Fair enough. Hey, crab fans, I'm Nick. And I'm Kalen. Previously, Agro Crab released Going Under, and it didn't make us rich. So this time, we're selling out and giving the people what they want crabs. <laughs> our second project is a crustacean themed souls like Another Crab's Treasure. Through our extensive research, we've found that crabs are the perfect enemy for an action game. They've got natural weapons, can strafe from side to side, and you can hit their weak point for massive damage. Souls likes are known for their difficulty, and we want to create a game that maintains that challenge while being approachable for new fans of the genre. Ooh, what if you died in one hit when you're not wearing a shell? I just said <laughs> it's supposed to be approachable. Oh, what if every time you dodge roll, there's like a 1% chance that you just trip and fall over? Well, it looks like our segment's over, everyone. <laughs> it's, it's time, time for crab. crab. Make it right, more accessible. Put your pincers up. So I was like, game. Oh, here we go with the crab puns. Crab, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, in this action adventure from Agro Crab, you'll embark on an epic treasure hunt under the sea to buy back your repossessed shell. While wading through this underwater Fair world enough. plagued by pollution and sinister secrets, you'll scavenge for trash and use it this as a shell message, to defend and, uh, yourself in challenging combat. There are over wow, 50 potential kind of shells, cool. so get shellfish with them and repel enemies with powerful umami magic. If you don't, you'll be in a pinch before you know it. After all, one crab's trash is another crab's treasure, which sidesteps and on the Nintendo Switch next year. next year. Here's how that turns out. For our last segment, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Enjoy! Okay. Do a montage. Let's see what we got montage wise. There's one last thing at the end or not. That's interesting.
here and beyond the trees. Hey guys, that was Shadow Drop. Got pretty good soundtracks in this. Probably going to be a uh, yeah, copyright thing on this, but they're making money anyway, so. Dark oh, Shark, okay, it's like a dark game. That's the goal. There's a few little bits of showing off. Well, 2D kind of platformers, roguelikes, or kind of like Vanius. No shadow drop. There's one last thing. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed nice the one. slew of games in today's showcase. A big thank you to our indie community and indie partners working on games for Nintendo Switch. And as always, thank uh -huh. you for watching. Until Here next time, happy gaming! Okay, yeah, so a 25 minute presentation. Um, not a ton of big stuff there, but I did have some cool stuff. Um, yeah, no, I think um, I would like to potentially see a bit more. Uh, I think it's One Funk's High Pop. I can't remember the name. It's kind of like something like that. Um, or One Funk's High Funk, or one of those things. But yeah, kind of. Um, like I think with Indie Wars, they are very much one and done with what they show. Uh, sound for, I think, is one of the best things I saw today. It looks really interesting. Soundtrack sound like it looks pretty, pretty awesome. So, so yeah. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Let me know in the comments below what did you like, um, uh, what games stood out to you from what you saw today. And, um, yeah, please do like the video. Please do subscribe if you're not already. Um, I'm hoping to get some more content out soon. I know I keep saying that, but um, I do have plans in place to see it, get some stuff recorded so I've got more stuff coming out. Um, hope some more film stuff, like trailer, film trailer stuff, not purely just... Um, just uh, game reactions or gameplay videos. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and until next time, uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, bye.